Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section We'll be just learning a detail The estimation of steel just for a triangular slab Actually a few friends just demand this guy from me right In the last lecture That's why I'm making this lecture today About this triangular slab Actually we have just 6 type of triangles Just stop the video over here and study this table in detail I'm not discussing this guy in detail because this is just time consuming, right? I'll just take this one, a right angle triangle, right? Because the right angle triangle is quite simple and always used, right? And this is most powerful triangle. In this example, we are given a triangle that has just a length equals 20 feet and the breadth is just 10 feet. And we are demanded to calculate steel just in kg. Yes, I like this word. In kg. And uh, the, beam, uh, the, the slab is already given, right? We are also informed to take the steel in both directions, same. Which is just number 4 bar at the rate of 12 inch center to center. And of course, we can just ignore concrete cover over here. So, I think all data is given, right? And uh, nothing is complicated over here. So I'll come straight into solution. But before starting the solution, let me show you how the steel must be distributed in this triangular slab. Just look at over here. This guy. Here we can also place just a, uh, a steel bar over here. And in this direction as well, right? And this is going. And so on. Also, we can just place or distribute steel in another direction like this one. I'll just first calculate uh, this directional steel. Then I'll come over here to another side, right? So let me just do it. I'll first calculate length of this first bar. Let me call this is L1, right? And this is just quite over here. You can just see at the base of this triangular slab. But what is just the length of bar 1 or what is just L1, right? Of course, you can clearly see it is just the length of this uh, triangle, right? Which is just 20 feet. So, the length of bar 1 is just 20 feet. I can just say L1 is just 20 feet. Because you can clearly see it, right? It's not much complicated. Now what about L2? Yeah, this is just really little challenging over here. Right? And of course the center to center distance between these two guys is just 12 inches, right? And the bar is number 4. How can I, I calculate L2? Just look at over here. If I draw a nice a perpendicular line over here, then you can clearly see the L2 is just the portion of L1 over here. It means I just need to subtract this little guy from L1 so I can just find L2. Does it make sense? But how can I find this little guy? Let me just draw this small triangle over here. For better visualization, right? And I'll call the base is X, which I want to calculate this guy over here. And of course the height or breadth of this guy is just 1 feet or 12 inches, right? Because this is just the center to center distance between these two bars. And this is of course given over here. Right? And just look at over here. Now, the triangle is not soluble because we have only one thing. It means we have only one side. We needed another component, right? Just look at over here. This is just... Uh, alpha, right, in angle. And of course, the angle in this small triangle is just equal to the angle in this uh, large or bigger white triangle. It means I can find this alpha using tangent theta, right, or tangent alpha, which is of course equal to this 10 over 12, right, or perpendicular over base. Of course, you can find alpha from this guy when you turn tangent to another side. It means tangent inverse of these two guys. These two guys. 
when you just uh, divide 10 by 20 you can get 0. 0.5 it means 10 in words of 0. 0.5 is just 26.565 degree it means we got it right now we can just find this x using tangent of theta again just look at over here tangent of this angle is just perpendicular or base it means perpendicular is just one and the base is x which we need over here right and uh, now just look at over here just do little cross multiplication right so you can get x equals 1 over tangent of theta right and do little mathematics with this guy using your calculator you can get x equals 2 feet it means this little guy is just 2 feet over here now what if I just subtract this 2 from L1 then I can get up course L2 right and this is quite simple so L2 is just L1 negative of this small thing which is 2 so you can get L1 is just 20 negative 2 you can get 18 feet right so the length of bar 2 is just 18 feet what do you say about L3 this is bar 3 right it is just the same thing we will just subtract 2 feet from this L2 we can get L3 right so L3 equals L2 negative this little guy just making over here this is just 2 this must be 18 negative 2 equals 16 what about L4 of course it's the same thing we we are just doing right uh, so L4 is just uh, L3 negative 2 plug and check in you can get L4 equals L3 is just 16 negative 2 equals 14 what about L5 of course we can just subtract 2 from L4 right so L4 negative 2 equals 12 yes this is uh, uh, quite simple right it's amazing I think and this is quite simple now and so on you can do these guys right by yourself just subtract 2 from each bar you can get the next bar right like uh, uh, I'm just making this guy L6 this is just L5 negative 2 right L5 is just 12 negative 2 you can get 10 and L7 is just L6 negative 2 right and L8 is just L L7 negative 2 right L7 is just 8 negative 2 equals 6 L9 it is just 6 negative 2 and L10 it is just 4 negative 2 right what about L, uh, L11 what do you say about L11 L11 will be just L10 negative 2 but L10 is just 2 and 2 negative 2 is just 0 it means we don't have just L11 right so when you add these guys together you can get the total length of bar equals 110 feet actually if you are just a, a CAD user you can do these guys so quickly right let me just jump our little time and we are just gonna take a little time over here I have just drawn this guy over here 20 and 10 let me take just a multiple uh, upsets from this guy and the upset value is just of course one feet right and I'm taking these guys just like in this palm what do you say does it make sense yeah of course and let me just trim these guys for a little time and now from dimension I can use quick dimension the element is of course just 20, 20 feet right and this is 18 yes of course this is 16 this guy is just 14 12 10 8 6 4 and of course 2 and there is nothing left over here right so you can use your AutoCAD right for this purpose too I'll come back into my presentation over here this one yes now I have the total length of these bars of course I can calculate the weight using the same formula I always use 
which is just of course the weight of bar must be d squared divided by 5 2.9 this will give me weight in kg per feet when i just multiply l with this guy i can get the total weight of this all uh, bars right these all bars so plug and chug in you must get the weight of bar equals the diameter must be in sutta right and we are informed to take number four bars so four square divided by this guy times the length is given which is one one zero when you just calculate this guy this little guy you can get 0.302 times the length of course you can get 33.2 kg and this is quite simple i think right so just look at our hair this was just our first approach in this direction now just do this direction by yourself right this is just the same method we did right and this is quite simple i think we are just done yes it's good so thank you for watching see you next time and what nothing wassalam